One thing that people don't usually know is that their budget actually depends on your personality, such as a lot of things in life. And when you create your budget, it's going to be as unique as you are because each one of us has different needs and priorities. So what is your budget personality? Stay tuned. My name is Munif Ali and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I started making videos to share my life experiences so I could teach others how to become successful and more financially responsible and aware. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and like the video and share it with people who might find this useful. To determine your money personality, take a good look at your expenses and ask yourself if you're frugal or if you're a spender, that's first and foremost. From that information, list down your priorities and goal. Your priorities will indicate how you're going to spend your budget. Once you've listed these down, then you're gonna check your money personality. If you're someone who spends your money depending on your mood, then you're what they call an emotional spender. And after working my last 30 years in real estate, I've seen quite a few of those. This is the type that will shop when they're having a bad day. They also are more prone to credit card debts because they often get derailed from their budget goals if their mood changes, right? Shopping therapy. They don't fail to spend when something significant happens. And if you're that kind of spender, then let's try to avoid getting your savings hurt while you get your feelings hurt with a special savings account to cover yourself when you have this impulsive urges. So set some money aside, have an emergency fund, and then a backup fund that allows you to get through those moments when you feel like you have to spend. Then you have the status spender. And what they like to do is, the young folks call this, the hype beast. This is the type of spender that has the most difficulty with keeping their budgets on track. They like to buy the latest gadgets, the latest shoes, the latest luxury items. They're the ones that always got to get the iPhone 23 and all of that kind of stuff because their peers have it or there's a trend or they see it on TikTok and they're always wanting the latest things. These are the guys that went out there and bought a whole bunch of true religion jeans and a whole bunch of you know things that are in trend and now they got a closet full of stuff they don't use right however this kind of spender is also comfortable with making riskier investments they don't mind shelling out lots of cash for investments they know they'll have tremendous gains in return and if you're that kind of spender you need to prioritize your expensive stuff so that you can figure out what to buy and how much you need to allocate there and if you want to keep your status you have to allot for bigger purchases and you'll ease the blow of any losses that you make. And you're saving yourself from avoiding any scenario of unmanageable debt. There's a lot of us in this and I myself have gotten caught up in this over time where it's like, okay, I gotta have this piece of technology or this is going to change my life. It's okay to be that type of spender. Again, going back to the basics, as long as you're allotted a certain amount of room. See, a lot of budgets fail because they don't allow flexibility. It's like boom right and a lot of people fail because they don't like the fact that budgets are restricted my methods allow you a little bit of spending no matter what type of spender you really are if you like avoiding your bills then you're called a dodger even though i'm in los angeles i'm not the biggest dodgers fan but i'll tell you this type of spender likes to avoid stress by completely ignoring it and let me tell you hiding from your debt will just cause you more stress in the long run it's not how a millionaire should think to get out of debt and achieve your financial goals you need to face your problems head on and start budgeting. These type of spenders also tend to forget that their bills are due since they literally don't plan anything. This is some of the reasons why they're behind on rent and mortgage and their financial goals. One way to address this is to automate your finances and make automated payments. So if that's already done, you don't even have to think about it and you won't stress out. You can just set it up in your bank app and automatically pay your bills so that you don't have to worry about debt anymore. By automating the bill payment, not only will you be able to have more stress-free days, but it will also help you with your credit rating and get you closer to your financial goal. Then you have the mega saver. Opposite of Dodgers and status spenders are mega savers. This type will try to do their best to avoid any expenses. These guys have laser focus when it comes to their plans for the future. But when you're this conservative, your investments can also suffer. You might be missing out on life-changing gains because you're too conservative and you might lose out on opportunities that can affect even your credit score and your investments. 
investments. So this might affect your future plans because just way too conservative and being a mega saver is not the best thing in the world either. You can be not only missing out on future opportunities, but also a little bit of fun along the way. I was definitely a mega saver and I came from a household that was run by a mega saver. And I could tell you, it's not always the most pleasant way. Yes, it gives you concrete foundational ways to save money, but I want you to think it also makes you hyper conservative. When I was investing in real estate in my early years, there was a lot of people that told me, don't, 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 you know, keep your money, keep, stay liquid. And I just kept taking a little bit of risk and buying properties every year. Sometimes I scaled up from there, two, three, four, five properties a year, while a lot of conservative friends I had just kept their money and safe and sound. And sure, I won some and lost some, but if you're too conservative, you can't grow. Just a quick break, I'm really excited to share this news with you. We developed a money management book. It's absolutely free. All you got to do is sign up with the link down below and you'll be shocked on how good this free PDF book is. It's just written for you to become that future millionaire. So if you follow the principles in the book, you're definitely on your way. And if you like the content that I just shared with you, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button. Let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video is valuable to you and I'll bring you more content each and every week. Make sure that you also hit that notification bell so when a new video comes out, you are aware. So these four personalities that a person can have, remember that each budget is unique to your needs. So try to know which type you are and you might be a combination of a couple. Assess your situation and get closer to your financial goals. Remember, what's important is that you start creating a budget so that you can be more consistent with your goals not here and there but all the time if you want to learn more about making money and budgeting check this video right here how to build your wealth in your 20s i guarantee you you'll pick up some clues along the way on this particular video